So another pen physics video after a long time. And uh, this time I have uh, a pen that I got recently and it's the Parker Sonnet. This particular model has a black resin body that combines nicely with uh, some metallic parts. Uh, so I like this pen very much. One reason is that the cap is clipped. So it's not screwed like the uh, most of the pens that I have, which I like very much. The nib is fine. This is the size that I prefer for, for writing. This one has uh, it's, uh, it's a gold nib with 18K and uh, dual color. So it's the fine nib by Parker and uh, it just has the right size. Uh, the pen itself has an ideal weight, I would say. It's not very heavy, it's not very light. Despite the resin body, it has a metallic parts that give some weight and it's very comfortable and fits nicely. Uh, as an, one, of the, one of the nicest feelings that I had with pens. And actually in the cup you can see the brand and the, the model of this pen, it's the Parker Sonnet. So it's, it's a very nice pen. Okay, what I will do today is revisit an old problem in mechanics, a uh, familiar problem with, uh, in the IP that two bodies connected with, uh, uh, with a massless string uh, going over a pulley and uh, accelerating. But now, in the IP, since they, since they added the, um, the engineering option with rotational dynamics, we would add this element as well. So now there is mass in this disk, this radius, it's just a solid body, it will rotate, so we will include some rotational dynamics. So, given the mass of the disc, 2 kilograms, one of the mass, 1 kilogram, the other one, the hanging mass is 2 kilograms, put some radius in the disc, 20 centimeters, take G, the acceleration of gravity to be 10, and the moment of inertia, that's the new element, uh, that is added, is 1 half mR squared, where m is the mass of the disc. So what we're asked to find is, one, the acceleration of the system, and this is the linear acceleration of the system, not the angular. And second, what's the angular momentum of the system at time equals two seconds? So initially we'll start with zero velocity, zero acceleration, then the system picks up some speed and some rotational speed, and there, is, there will be some angular momentum of three things two masses and the solid disk. So in the past we were doing free body diagram and applying Newton's law, so this is what we will do here as well. One thing about the nib uh, here is that it tends to skip. So when you write too fast uh, it will skip and sometimes it's a bad starter. So um, uh, one thing have to uh, get used to is to apply more pressure, which is which is fine, but has uh, really some nice writing experience. So let's say this would be M1, the first mass of the system, and it has its own tension, T1. Now, not the tensions would be different now, because there is a net torque uh, on the disc. Second mass would be M2, so I'm doing free body diagram on this, that would be T2, tension on this mass, and there is a weight, M2 times G. And notice that we said that uh, this, this, uh, uh, this side is frictionless, so we neglect friction on the, on the first body. And of course we have the disc, which has T2 on this side and T1 on that side. Axis of rotation around the center has a radius R and we can take the positive direction to be along this way. Okay, so apply Newton's laws on two bodies. Let's start with this one. Sigma F sum of the forces is equal to M2 times the acceleration. So M2G, the weight, minus the tension T2 is equal to M2A.
So the skipping is compensated by the nice sound that uh, the nib has on the paper. So let's call this equation 1. First body, sigma f, m1, a, it's just one force, t1 is equal to m1, a. Call this equation 2. And I'm slowly getting the hang of applying more pressure on this. Now, okay, so now the, the solid disk that rotates. I would go with, there is no translational motion now, but there's rotational motion, so I have a sigma and the net torque. And this is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration that we call alpha. What is the net torque? The net torque is T2 minus T1 times the radius R. And I chose T2 to be the positive because it goes, I chose the positive direction to be along this way. So the moment of inertia was given one half MR squared. And the angular acceleration is just the linear acceleration over the radius. And notice that all the radii will cancel in this equation. So I will get my third equation because I need three equations for three unknowns since the tensions are now different. I just love the sound. Okay, so let's put some values because we have numbers for the masses now and uh, we get from the first equation that 2 times 10 is 20 minus tension 2 is equal to 2a. From the second equation we get just t1 is equal to a. Third equation we get t2 minus t1 is equal to a. And we can solve this system of three equations. It's actually simple. So t2, well t1 is a, goes to the other side, that's 2a. So t2 is 2a. And the first equation is 20 minus 2a, which is the second tension, is equal to 2a. So the first equation will give us the acceleration. 20 is equal to what? 4a. So a should be 5. So we answered the first question. And that's SI units, meters a second to the minus 2. Okay. So again, what we did is, as usual, we applied, when we did the free body diagram, we applied Newton's laws on the two bodies, but on, this, on the third one, the disk, the rotating disk, we had to apply Newton's law, but for rotational motion. So sigma, the net torque is equal to, uh, instead of ma, is i times alpha, the angular acceleration. And we got an extra equation that uh, answered the, uh, the question of the acceleration of the system. And this is the acceleration of both masses. Okay, the next question was, what is the linear, what well, I, the angular momentum at the time of two seconds? So initially the system starts with zero speed and then it picks up some speed. So we have some kinematics to, to, to use also in this case. So what's the angular momentum at two seconds? So let me open another page. And um, the angular momentum of mass 1 moving with a speed v, after 2 seconds it will have picked up some speed v, there is the angular momentum of the rotating disk, radius r, it will have some angular speed omega, and there will be also the m2. having the same speed because they move together. So the total moment, the, the total angular moment would be equal to the um, angular momentum of 1 plus the angular momentum of 2 plus the angular momentum of the pulley of the disk. 
And this now becomes an algebraic sum because the axis of rotation is the same. It's common for all masses. So it's actually this is actually a vector sum, but now it becomes an algebraic sum because of the common axis of rotation. So we have vectors in the same direction, uh, and this simplifies things. Okay, what is the um, angular momentum of the first mass? This is simply m1 times v times r, because we consider this now as a point mass. Okay, so this is m1 was um, 1, v, and r is 0 0.2, we have to convert this to meters, it was 20 centimeters. And now the question is, what is the speed v? Same thing for L2, M2 times v, the common velocity times r. So this is now 2v, 0 0.2. Well, now I need to use some kinematics that the, there, is, there is acceleration for this, for both masses which we found, it's 5 meters per second squared, so V is V0 plus AT. This is simply kinematics with accelerated motion, while well, this being 0. So this is 5 times T, and we need to consider this at T is equal to 2 seconds. So this becomes 10 meters per second. Okay, so now L1 is equal to 10 plus 0 0.2 is 2. What are the units? The units are kilograms. While well, speed has meters per second, this is meters. So this is kilograms meters second to the minus 1. Meters squared second to the minus 1. And L2 will be 4 because it's 2 times that. Okay, so we found the angular momentum of the two masses because they move around this, this axis. So there is, there is some angular momentum here. What about the disk? What about the, uh, the rotating pulley? Well, this has the other equation that is given for a solid body rotating, and this is the, the angular momentum is the moment of inertia times the angular speed moment of inertia being for this body one half m r squared and the angular speed is very it's the same equation basically as for the linear speed but instead of v we use omega and instead of the linear acceleration we use the angular acceleration again this is zero So omega is, well now the angular acceleration is A over R times T. And putting the values there, so this is 5, this is 0 0.2 at 2 seconds. This is 50. The unit is rad second to the minus 1. So what is the angular momentum of, uh, of the disk is one half, the mass was 2, this was 0 0.2 squared, and this is times 50, and all this will give me 2 kilograms, the same units, meter squared as to the minus 1. So we have to add all this angular momenta 2 plus 4 plus 2 that would be 8 so we need to calculate the sum of all three masses so the angular momentum is 8 kilograms meters 
squared second to the minus one when at t is equal to two seconds. And that's it. Thanks for watching.